Hey, I'm Paul Dotson. Um, I'm making this video because lately I've been seeing a therapist about like stress, anxiety, anger, you know, all that crap of life. And he told me to make a journal about what happens to me throughout the days. And, you know, I'm not much for writing, so I figured since this is 2012 and it's the age of YouTube and all that stuff, I'd make a video journal. And he said the first one should be like an introductory, tell me about who I am, where I came from, where I'm at in my life, so I can see how I progress later on. So, like I said, my name is Paul Dotson. I grew up in a small town in Tennessee. I didn't too well, do too well in school because I was always getting in fights. You know, I had this attitude that violence got you what you wanted. But when you hit the real world, you kind of realize it's not how it works. So, I didn't get to go to college. Um, I went straight to work. Construction, warehouses, factories, places like that. And uh, right now, I'm working for Walmart. You know, the place where you can get it all. It's an okay job. It pays enough for me to have my own apartment and get by week to week. My boss... He's kind of a prick. He's always on my case about stuff. I think he likes bossing people around that's bigger than him. One good thing in my life is my girlfriend, Brandy Mullinax. She's beautiful and sweet and it's really the only person that gets me. She's a nurse and she's actually the one that suggested that I go to therapy. So, well, that's, that's pretty much me. Um, here's the good health better life and let's see where this takes us. Man, these past couple weeks they haven't went too well for me. You know at work things are getting really tight. Brian's got on my case about any little thing. The other day, I busted my ass to unload this truck all by myself. And I sat down for a second to rest, and he's, he's on me. I'd really love to knock that prick out. Or at least give him a piece of my mind. But if I do that, I lose my job. So, But I have been letting my tongue slip a little bit. Been getting more aggressive with him when I talk back to him. People say I'm pushing it too far. I only do it when I know I'm right and I'm standing up for myself, but my coworkers say I actually look like I'm going to hit them sometimes. Believe me, if I could, I would. You know, this guy, he's never had to work hard his whole life. He was a spoiled little rich kid, went to college for management, and got a job just like that out of college. When I do talk about fighting with people, are always like, violence is not the answer. It may not be the answer, but it sure would make me feel better. You know what used to make me feel better? Talking to Brandy about the stuff that went on in my life. And, you know, she used to be like my, who I can vent to, you know? But, things haven't been the same between us lately. She's more distant. I don't know why. She's been talking about this new co-worker of hers, Robert. She keeps saying all how he's cool and he's funny and all this other shit. I'm not too proud to say that I'm a little jealous. I tell her that I think she's coming. he's coming after her. But she says it's stupid and they're just friends. But, you know, we were just friends at one time, too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe me acting jealous is what's pushing her away. Maybe it's just all the stress of work and the therapy and maybe I'm just getting paranoid. I don't know. Let's see if things get better, huh?
these uh, past few weeks have, um, well, they've sucked. Brandy, she, uh, you know, she, she ended things with me. She said she couldn't see a future with me anymore. Um, that I was going nowhere and that wasn't what she wanted. You know, I, I laid off the whole Robert thing, you know, to show her that, you know, I trusted her. But that turned out to be a mistake because I just found out they, um, they, they're dating now. You know, see, you see, Robert, Robert's an intern, you know, at the hospital she works at. And he's going to be this big time doctor, you know, he's going to be able to, you know, give her a better life than I could. And I'm, I'm positive he was putting that in her head. Well, after that, I couldn't, I couldn't get myself to, to, to focus, to, you know, get, get any drive. To, um, you know, I just started showing up for late for work. I even just laid out a couple of days. That was all Brian needed to, to fire me, you know. Um, I should have whooped his little ass then, but I was so upset over Brandy, I just, I didn't, I didn't care. Come to find out, he replaces me with his cousin. That's why he was on my ass the whole time. To get me out of there to give his cousin a job. You know, I was barely getting by with that job. Now, I, I don't have a job. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have, I'm going to lose my apartment. I don't have anything. I need to, I just, I just, You know, after my little outburst, I had an epiphany. I felt better. <laughs> after an act of violence, of aggression, I felt more at peace with myself. You know, most people would say there's something wrong with a person like that. A person who... Who, who, who likes violence, you know, then they send them to therapy and say they got anger problems and all this other shit. But, you know, I, I realize there's nothing wrong with me. That's part of who I am. I'm an aggressive person. Lashing out violently is part of my nature. I got to thinking about what makes me like that. You know, do I do I got a high testosterone level? Do I do I got an enlarged medullum obligato, whatever that is? Am I a product of my environment? You know, then I thought then I thought about the Bible. 
You know, the first human born, born, not made, not Adam, born, the first human born, Cain, was a murderer. You know, that's got to say something about humanity. That the first one of us born killed his own brother to get something he wanted. Let's say you don't, you don't believe in the Bible. Let's say you believe in evolution. That we came from cavemen, Cro-Magnum man, you know, Homo habilis, whatever. You know, I think they're the ones that got it right. You know, cavemen, the most successful caveman was the one who took what he wanted. If there were two cavemen that wanted the same woman or the same food or shelter or whatever, then the one who got it was the one willing to fight for it. Willing to pick up a club and bash the other one's head in. And that's the way I think things ought to be. You know, that's where we came from. No matter where you believe, Bible evolution, violence is part of humanity. Taking what you want is our basic nature, our basic instinct. People say it's primitive. They're right, it is. You know what the definition of primitive is? First, original. Our first nature is to take things. And I'm not going to hold it in anymore. I'm not going to restrain myself. I'm not going to be put down by ones that think they're more powerful than me. I'm going to show them what true power is. I'm going to show them what true freedom is. I'm going to show them my primal nature. Here we are. Look, I just want to get this over with, okay? That's it? You just want me to take my things and get out of your life, right? I want to do this with no problems, okay? No, you don't. Excuse me? If you didn't want any problems, my stuff would have already been packed. Instead, everything is exactly where I left it. And you had me come over on a day that you knew Robert was going to be at work. How do you know Robert's at work? Well, since I've lost my job, I've had to find something to consume my time. <laughs> Are you telling me you've been spying on us? I not say spying so much as observing. And one thing I've noticed, you don't smile like you used to. Anymore. That's... You're not happy, are you? No. You don't love them, do you? Look, Robert's good for me. He's good to me. He's got a job. He's got goals. We're comfortable. No. He doesn't make me feel like you did. Look, we belong together. No one understands me like you do. No one can make you feel like this. No. Uh, this is wrong. Stop doing what everyone else thinks is right. Do what you think is right. What your mind, your body, your nature tells you to do.
getting what he deserves, okay? People like him think he's better than people like us, and it's time he got shown why he isn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, but why do you have me filming it? I'll tell you that later. Here it comes. Hey, Brian! Hey, Paul. What's that count for? What Did are you, you doing really here? you really think you could fire me so you could give your cousin a job without any retribution. Hey man, you got yourself fired. I didn't. You were looking for a reason to fire me weeks before I gave you one. Hey, I gotta get out of here, okay? Get that camera off me, man. I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere. People like you think you're better than people like me because you're giving some kind of authority over us? I don't. Shut up! You have no authority. You are not better than us. And it's time that people like you got shown it. And you're the first. What are you doing? Please! No! Please! You have no authority over us. You don't tell us what to do or what we are. And now, you're going to pay for your facade. Please! Please! No! Oh my God. Okay, so those first couple of people we talked to weren't exactly what we're looking for. But I know our first is going to be found here tonight. How do you know that? Look at this place. It's low income apartments. People that work here are either living off the government, criminals, or they're working their asses off of some pissy ant job. Here comes one right now. Excuse me, sir. Can we have a moment of your time? Four. We're doing an uh, interview of people who live here for a social experiment about how they live, what they do, all that kind of stuff. So is it for like school or something? Yes, actually. Okay. Okay, um, first of all, speaking of the camera, uh, what's your name? Sean. Good, Sean. Uh, you live here, right? Yeah. All right, um, what do you do for a living? Work at a dog food factory. Dog food factory. Do you like your job? Oh, no, man. I come home smell like dog food every day. Okay. Well, uh, what about your bosses? Man, these guys are all number crunching dicks. All right. Well, um, you say you come home smell like dog food every day, but are you at least proud that you have a home to come to? Yeah, man. It's not really a home, though, is it? I'd be a lot prouder if I live somewhere else. This place is really kind of a shithole around here. Okay, well, um, what about your wife? You're single, dude. It's hard to get a girl when you don't have anything to offer. Yeah, that ain't, that's true. Okay, Sean, how about this? What if I told you there was a way you could have everything you've ever wanted? Woman, job, house, all of it. I'd say show me the way. Right. It looks like we found our first recruit. Recruit for what? <laughs> Well, that was easy. Put that down, let me put it in the truck.
Hush. Hush. We had to tie you up. Otherwise, your understanding of society's rules might prevent you from listening to what we have to teach you. What? Teach me? Yeah, teach you. Look, look, Sean. I knocked you out, okay? I dragged you here. I tied you up. I didn't even try to hide it. If people saw me, I talked to people on this camera before I talked to you. And if I wanted to, I could kill you right now. Take your wallet, take your keys, go through your apartment, take anything I want. Because I don't follow civilization's rules. I follow my own nature. And it's your nature too. And I think you're closer to accepting it than other people. Why me? Because of the way you answered my questions. You started to let it out. You started to let go. Let go of what? You started to give in to your primitive side. Look, you want a better life, right? You want a wife, better place to live, better job you can be proud of. What's preventing you from taking it? I don't know. Yes, you do. Come on. I don't know, man. My, my job? Ah, come on. Nope. Try again. My education? Ah! Jeez. Oh. What's holding you back, Sean? The world! Mm. Ah! God! Motherfucker! Wait, what, Sean? You hit me one more time. What? What are you going to do? What do you want to do? I'm going to rip your head off. What prevent you from doing that? These damn gross. <sighs> then untie yourself. What are you even talking about? You've been so worried. Thinking that you are tied up. You haven't really checked. Then untie yourself, Sean. Go ahead. thought you were tied up and had to take every blow I gave you. Just like you do in real life. You think because of your job, your low education, laws, that you have to succumb to them. But you don't. If you let go, if you give in, you can have anything you want. Take anything you want. And how do I get that? This might be able to show you. Look, I live here. This is my apartment. My things are here. I don't owe you a thing. Tell what you think you are. I didn't say you could come in here. I own this place. You haven't paid your rent yet. I gave you an eviction notice last month. If you're not gone by tomorrow, I'm calling the cops. How about giving you payment right now? It don't matter. This is my place. I leave when I want to. No one helps. Here. What? Take it. Look at this guy. He represents everything that's wrong with your life. He says he owns this place, but he didn't build it with his own hands. People like you and me did. But yet we have to pay him to live here, and then he takes our money and goes and lives in some big nice house. Let it out, Sean. Let it go. You got all your aggression on this world on this man right here, right now. You want that freedom? This is the first step. Go into your city. Walk into the tallest building and ask who built it. They're going to give you the name of an architect or a company that funded it. Not the names of the actual men and women who bled, sweat, and broke their backs to build it. Soldiers are sent to fight wars by men in suits in Washington, D.C. 
And if they're lucky enough to make it home in peace, they have average or poor homes. While the men who sit them there live comfortably in mansions and have never left the safety of home. This world is backwards, but only because those who are considered uneducated or working class have forgotten what they are. Primitive. It's nature's way. So the weak built made civilization so they could have a world that they ruled. But if those uneducated or working class actually give in to their primal nature, they'll have true freedom and true power. And nothing will be able to stop them. I did it for myself. And I've shown others. And I'm going to keep showing others. Matthew chapter 5, verse 5 says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. I don't think so. If the meek wants this earth, they're going to have to become like me and take it. <laughs>